Good evening and welcome back. So this evening we're going to work on the 1950s uh, 2021 Gibson Les Paul Standard Gold Top. So I bought this, if you're watching for the first time, I bought this off a of Stratosphere. It was a bare husk. Uh, I purchased MHS2 um, rhythm and lead pickups. The only way you get these pickups is to buy them out of a 335 or 345. You can't just buy these pickups. You have to find somebody willing to dissect them out of their guitar and sell them to you. So that's how I ended up with these. Uh, the pickup rings, the pick guard, all the knobs, all the hardware, poker chip, everything is all OEM Gibson. If you look back at my previous videos, you'll see me opening all these different parts. Um, this did come with the strap locks, the truss rod cover, and the nut, and it also came with the cavity covers. So that's the nice thing about stuff from Stratosphere. They do give you enough to get started where you're not completely having to spend a ton of money on it. Um, other than that, the pots are all matched. I matched them all. We got three at 284, one at 285. Uh, those are OEM Gibson linear taper pots. They're not audio taper. The next build will be uh, 500K audio tapers. Uh, just let that cat out of the bag. Uh, these are 0.022 microfarad paper and oil honeybees, not bumblebees. So we're going to give those a shot. And those are made in America. Uh, it's got the long shaft switchcraft three-way switch in it. All vintage wiring, no plastic wiring whatsoever. What you do see right there on the long wire going between the pots is going to be the input jack. I put a piece of shrink tubing on it just in case the wire moves and hits a positive lead, it's not gonna ground out and do any kind of bad stuff. So it's just about done. Uh, if you look at my previous videos, you'll see uh, me unpacking everything and putting what's on here so far together. So tonight what we need is tuners. I've been waiting for the tuners. I have Grovers, but I don't have any Clusons. And I could put the Grovers in there, but you're gonna have that ugly imprint of the Cluson plus the extra screw hole on the top. This being a 2021 brand spanking new, there is absolutely no point in my mind of changing that yet. Um, the 1960 is gone. If I had that here, I could show you an example of what it looked like. Uh, it's not bad. So if it's an older guitar like my 1960 was, it was an 05. So it already had some players wear on it. You know, something like that, you start to make your own. Uh, I get it, but brand new, I wanted to try to keep as bone stock as I could as far as the specifications, you know, so it don't look like it's modified. It'll look just like it did when it came right from Gibson, but you wouldn't tell until you opened it up and seen the pickups and the electronics and wiring. And then as far as the tuners go, they were like the ones here on the ES. As I showed you in a previous video, this is the type of tuner that was on it. So what I ended up doing, I was looking for tuners and I found these ones, but they're gold. And these are Clusen Revolutions and they have the Clusen platform, but they have the Grover style tuner. Uh, so I'm like, yeah, I really like those. So I stepped it up and I bought the same exact ones only with the locking mechanism on it. So we're gonna give those a shot. Also, these ones are push-in style, like I was saying, like this. These ones are actually the threaded collar with the washer, like you would see on any other Gibson that is built today, like this. So you'll have the threaded inserts with the washers. This one's actually got locking Grovers on it. And it's a 2018 Gibson Les Paul Classic Gold Top. Or is that one, the 17? I think the P9, yeah, this is the 17. Dad's got another one of the 18, 2018 with the P90s. Anyways, I'm getting off track. So tonight we're going to put these tuners on and I hope they fit. Sometimes you have to buy a bigger uh, insert, whether it be the push-in style or this, but I'm pretty sure this one's going to work. So we're going to go ahead and get these on. I guess I could bring you guys down here to check it out, but... Here are the tuners. Looks like there's some protective. Yeah, 
there's a little protective plastic on the top of it. We'll leave it on there until I get done with it. But yeah, so there they are. I'll go ahead and bring you guys down here. So we can try to get a look at this. All right. So let's get this flipped over. I'm going to drop these in. Uh, wrong way, I'm upside down. Yeah, I think this looks a lot better than going with the older style. Now, I'm building this, quote, 50s. But again, it's a it's a 2021, so it's not going to be a 1950. There's no reason of trying to find the exact vintage style tuners that that were on it, and they're not really that vintage looking, in my opinion. So I might as well upgrade it, right? Put lockers on it, Grover style. But on a Cluson platform. And then we don't have no extra holes to deal with. No toothpick and super glue tricks. So, another uh, good point here is when you're putting new tuners in, you can see how loose this is. Don't put the screws in all the way. Get them started and get them real close to the tuner, but make it to where it's still loose and wiggles because when we flip it over and put this in, if it's off-centered or whatever and tightened down, it's going to put a lot of pressure on it, and you could break the screw head off or do many other things. You could even crack your headstock um, from the pressure of tightening down in, or tightening in the threaded collar and putting the pressure on the screw if it's the shaft of this isn't centered anyways i'm just kind of rambling but just keep that in, in mind when you put new tuners on get everything started first before you tighten anything down don't ever crank it down get it right down to where it stops and then give it like a quarter of a turn because these little screws it don't take much to strip out the wood and again it's not like uh holding a ton of pressure, it's just holding them in place. So it's been about a week since my last video and that is because we had a family member pass away and it's been a pretty rough week. So sorry you guys if I am not real chipper today and all happy-go-lucky because we just lost a family member didn't even really want to do this video tonight but got to keep this project rolling and we're getting really close to being done with it now and that's another thing i've been digging all around here i swore i had a whole bunch of Dunlop strings still and I must have been using them and not keeping track because I tore the place apart and I can't find any Dunlop strings and I really like the Dunlops 1046's what I do have though I think is absolute trash I'll show you here in a minute let's get these on and then uh, we'll see if I decide to put these strings on or not because I think they're just absolute garbage. They remind me of recycled pop cans. They feel really cheap, like aluminum or something. I don't know. They're just... You'll see. And I'm probably going to make some of you guys butt sore because you, some of you are probably going to like the strings that I think are just garbage. But to each their own. And if you can play with them... You like the feel of them, more power to you.
All right, I'm just gonna grab me a 10 millimeter. And while I'm gone getting the 10 millimeter, you guys take a look at those. These are just absolute garbage. I think they're just garbage. They feel crappy. They feel cheap. They feel like, just like I said, like recycled aluminum. Okay. So we don't know if we'll put these on or not. I do have two packs in there so i may may use them i don't know i i don't know i just don't like them so anyhow when you get to this point just get them all to where they all stop and when you get them to where they just stop flip it back over and then tighten your screws down till they stop. Then once all of the screws are down, I'm getting there. And I know the question you're gonna ask next. Why didn't you do it when you're right there? Okay. So now that I got them all screwed down, we're just gonna go back to each one, give it a quarter of a turn, just to snug them up. And the reason I didn't do this, once they became flat or to the stopped position is because the other side wasn't down and it can tweak it. So you want to get them all down to where they stop first and then go back to each one and just give them a little quarter of a turn. And then you're done. So that don't look too bad, does it? Yeah, I think that looks pretty slick. Let's compare it to the locking Grovers on another gold top. Yeah. It's got the same shape. And it does have the Cluson look. They put the little stripes in it and they squared it off a little more like a Cluson. But it is definitely a Grover style tuner on a Cluson platform. I think they look good. That's real slick. If you have Clusons on there and you really want Grovers, I'd go that way. Screw leaving that extra screw hole on the top, putting toothpicks in it and stuff. This is the way to go. Yeah. So now that that is done, we'll come back over here and do the same thing. Do it till it stops. Actually, once it stops, you just give it that little nudge. Over here, it don't matter now because you're only tightening one thing. And you don't want to crank these down because that's where you're going to start splitting the, the ears off the headstock or cracking it or cracking the finish. So there it is. Got the uh, Cluson Revolution locking tuners in it that are Grover-like. So now the last thing to do is put the hardware and strings on. And I have that here. But I don't think that I'm going to use these strings. I think I'm going to wait. And I'm going to put some Dunlops on it. Now I have a, a whole buttload of Dunlop strings, 1046s, but they're all collector strings. Every one of them are Zach Wild um, Dunlop strings. So 
They don't make those anymore. Matter of fact, Dunlop don't even make Zach Wild strings anymore. GHS Boomer does. So those are collector strings. I should have put those in with my Zach Wild Les Paul when I sold that, but I didn't think of it until it was already gone. And I've got quite a few other Zach Wild memorabilia, memorabilia things. So I'll hang on to them for a minute. Maybe uh, somebody will want them. But here we go, guys. This is... 2021 Gibson Les Paul 50s with the Cluson Revolution tuners. And I was going to go ahead and get the strings on it tonight, but I hate these strings. They really do feel like garbage. And I just, I don't like the way they feel. They're really cheap looking too. They almost look like a raw aluminum compared to another guitar string. So. Uh, that's it, you guys. So that's all I'm going to do for now on this video. I'm going to order some other strings. And then the next video, I'm not going to waste your time of putting them on. I'm just going to get them on. We'll go ahead and look at this guitar one last time. And then we'll plug it in and get a test run on it and see what it sounds like with 300K linear pots, honeybee, 0.22 microfarad paper and oils, and Memphis Historic Spec pickups in a 2021 Gibson Les Paul 50s gold top. So stay tuned. We are almost done with that. Don't forget to like and subscribe.